It's the massive billboard that's gotten quite a few noses out of joint. Residents say they weren't given any notice before this big, bright sign popped up next door. They're angry and they want it gone. They're designed to be seen. Um, it's, it's a real safety issue. It's the big new billboard designed to be seen. But this is the last thing residents wanted to see out their windows. This isn't some obscure car park somewhere or on the side of a freeway or anything like that. This is outside of my apartment window. The McWhirters building in Brisbane's Fortitude Valley has a rich history. Built in stages from the early 1900s, it was a department store for many years. Now high-end apartments, it's where Sean Colley calls home. Yeah, the heritage is great. It's uh, the architectural features. It's got a, uh, its own character in itself. Um, it's just a yeah, terrific building. But it's a new 52 square metre billboard that's popped up alongside the heritage listed building that's got residents angry. Sean claims there was no notification, just installation workers who showed up one night. We weren't too happy, um, and this was 9.30 at night. Um, you know, Wickham Street's a very busy road, um, so they, do, did, they have done all their work at, at night time. Now switched on, Sean says it's an eyesore, causes light pollution, and will devalue the 114 residential apartments in the building. There is some sort of attitude that it's, it, it is a nightlife district, but this is also our home. We've chosen to live here because we love the area, we love the character, we love the heritage. Sean went to the Brisbane City Council for answers after being unable to find approval for the billboard online, only to find out the approval was so old it was no longer online. Surprising to get the response from council and from our local councillor's office. Um, that simply they have an approval. It was issued in 2014 and uh, get used to it was pretty much the reaction. The building application for the billboard was approved in 2014, but the rules changed in 2021, banning advertising signs within 50 metres of a heritage listed building. But Bishop Outdoor Advertising says... This billboard meets the requirements of the new local law and would still be approved under new regulations. How many other sleeper approvals are out there under this previous law? Is there... Is, are, are there hundreds? You know, the next minute you know, you wake up and there's another one sitting at your bedroom window. Fed up with the council, Sean contacted his federal member who's taking up the charge. You know, this was approved back in 2014 and suddenly appears in 2022 when council's own legislation says that if you receive approval for a billboard, it has to go up within 12 months. If not, you have to go through the same process again. Stephen Bates says on top of the lack of consultation, the sign is a safety issue. So obviously being on top of a super busy road in Brisbane, it's a safety issue. You know, we've got five lanes of traffic here, buses coming across different lanes. It's a party venue as well, so you've got people, you know, stumbling home after evenings in the middle of a high-frequency traffic area. In a statement, Brisbane City Council says... The building work was approved by a private building certifier with the billboard placed on a walkway bridge that is not heritage listed. Who wants to live with that, you know, outside your apartment window? Like, I mean, it's, it's intrusive, it's ugly, it detracts from the building. Bishop Outdoor Advertising has agreed to turn the billboard off at 10 o'clock each night to reduce the impact on sleeping residents.